Hey there guys, this is Indium here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play, Jeff Falls Gemini. Right, so in the last episode, um, we got to the entrance of the final boss room and we did a bunch of Floyd mission, uh, mission stuff in the last episode too, in Escobone, so, uh, we're gonna go see how bad this boss really is, oh god, I'm telling you. Yeah, we got a huge cutscene coming up here too, so... Um, I don't know really what to say, but <laughs> we're coming out the alien's ass, that's all I can say. <laughs> Man, that's gross. Now we're covered in alien poop. How do you like that, lupus? Yeah, you better go ahead and clean yourself. But this is no time to cleanse ourselves. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I don't know how bad I'm going to do with this, but uh, let's just hope that all goes well and that we only actually managed to do it because um... Well, this for me was one of the hardest boss battles I've ever beaten um, in any video game. <laughs> uh, but the final boss in this game is a lot, is ten times harder. So, <laughs> well, the final boss in this game is actually one of the hardest bosses I've ever beaten in any video game, in any, like, <laughs> I think it actually is, to be honest with you the hardest I've beaten. Um. And here we go, the boss platform rises and the cut and the screen goes black. Alright, here we go. Alright, what you want to do is shoot the um shoot the gun first. Um I like to take care of this thing with a machine gun. Uh and then what I do here, I think I use the tri rockets to take care of his second arm. Because that seems to do the trick. You can also use like these little things right here as barricades to uh, block their projectiles. Because um, later on in the boss battle, they'll start shooting missiles at you, and the missiles do a lot of damage. Right, no kidding. <laughs> right, where's my homing missiles? I want to use those. And then the same for this guy, you have to take out his uh, gun as well, but I like to uh, use the machine gun to take out his gun. It's the tails that shoot the missiles, so he'll s the back, the back, the one in the background will now start shooting his missiles, because he doesn't have any other weapon left to use, he doesn't have his gun or anything, so he'll start using missiles here, look, see. And that's why, ugh, I don't know, this boss is so tricky. And you take so much damage against those missiles. Right, so that's the machine gun segment done. I don't have to use that weapon anymore. Um, okay, I, I've got his arm locked on so I don't have to keep on um, aiming at it. I can just shoot it. So you've got to be careful of those missiles. Because if you get hit by those... <laughs> 
It's not cool, dude. Not cool. Right, that's his arm taken care of. Alright. I think I actually managed to dodge two of those just then. She's good. That's a good start. We're, we've only lost one cycle of her health, so that's not too bad. <laughs> oh, that's her second missile set. I got that I got this missile launcher locked on. So I'm pretty sure I have. <sighs> that thing needs to die. That It's not locking on to it, that's the problem. I don't know why it's not locking on. Screw it, I'm using my machine gun here. Well, that's right, good, 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 good. <laughs> his his um rockets are now taken care of, his uh rocket launcher is now gone. Thank god for that. Right now he won't shoot rockets at you anymore. At least I don't think he will. He'll just sit there in the background. So we're we're pretty much okay at the moment. Um, we got the hardest part done. So it's just a matter of trying to survive now. Is all I can really say. But I'm running low on ammo on everything here. So oh wow, I took it out with the pistol. That wasn't too bad. I must have done so many da so much damage to it with the um with the right. So here's where you want to use your tri rockets. See, I'm, I'm, I don't even know if I'm doing any damage against it. Appears to me that I'm not. Hell. Well, there I just blatantly missed. At least I think I'm doing damage, what the hell? Well, that's one of them down. Yay! <laughs> so now we got the other one just to take care of. Swap weapons. Did I do it? Yes! <laughs> oh! Oh, first try. My god, nine minutes of craziness. Yes. Now that deserves a victory dance. Woo! <laughs> Thank god for that. That wasn't a, ugh, that wasn't too bad. I was pretty low on health though and I was very low on ammo. Um, I ran out of all my tri rockets and uh, I, I think I almost ran out of all my homing missiles. I didn't really want to use my homing missiles just in case. And there is no tribal out here, so that tribal who was on the island, you can't get him. Um, you just rescued him from being harmed, basically, from the uh, from the praying mantises. So, the praying mantis boss fight is now done. Yes. Oh, I thought that was going to be a nightmare on the tiny screen, but no, it wasn't. It was actually fairly okay. So I'm pr pretty highly confident now that I'd be okay in the final boss fight, um, considering that went okay. 
Um, so that's a, that's a plus side. <laughs> there's also a capacity here, which I forgot about. I think uh, there's a oh, it's a grenade capacity. I don't know if there's anything else out there, like out in the open in the uh, lava. So I might have to come back here as Juno at some point and have a wander around and see what's going on. But I like the visuals of the sky here, like how fast the sky is moving, the clouds. But um, that's pretty much it for this episode. That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to beat the boss battle, have all that done, dusted. And I, I'm sorry if I didn't talk too much out in that during that boss fight. It's just that I really needed to focus and I really didn't want to mess up so much. Um, so, yay on that. We're finally done and we're leaving Escobar. So, that's the last level of Zlupus and now we're heading to Mizar's Palace. So, I don't know which one to start first. I don't want to do Vela's part of Mizar Palace because I know Vela's part is probably the most pain in the ass part to do. So, I might either do Lup Lupus's or Juno's first. Um, Lupus's is actually the funnest out of all of them to do. Um, but Juno's is also quite fun too, so I don't really know. Uh, I'll think about it. Um, but I'll definitely do Vela's last, because <laughs> it's an underwater segment, and I don't really like underwater segments. <laughs> and it's a maze too, it's a maze underwater, and uh, you have to try and navigate your way around and try and get as many pickups as you can. It doesn't really take you that long to do, but it's just a pain. Um, trying to find your way around because you don't because you're not sure if you got everything and if you haven't got anything you have to go all the way around the whole thing again to to double check and make sure that you did get everything if you know what I mean. But um, anyway, guys, in the next episode, let's play Jet Force Gemini. I shall decide between either Juno or Lupus's Mizar Palace uh, mission to do. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you on the next video. This is NDM saying thanks for watching. Uh, I think I said that twice, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, goodbye.